everybody, it's Teresa. Welcome to my channel. I have some finished pieces of jewelry that I wanted to share with you all today that I made from the most recent curated bead box, the one for September. It was called Autumn Leaves. I'll put a link in the corner of this video and in the description box below to the unboxing video I did for this subscription in case you want to watch it. But the curated bead box is a monthly subscription of beads. They always also have a findings starter kit in each box, which makes it really handy. You can make a lot of pieces directly out of the box. All you would really need would be probably your basic jewelry tools. It's $20 a month, and that includes shipping, and you get a whole lot of beads for $20. <laughs> uh, I have a coupon code. It's Teresa35, and I'll put it on the screen here and in the description box below along with a link to the page to sign up for the subscription if you're interested. The coupon code would save you 35% off your first box if you sign up, so that would make your first box $13. I did a video on this necklace here. It's just a very simple and easy necklace to make, and I'll put a link in the description box below to that video in case you want to watch it. But I used the 10 millimeter carnelian slash citrine duo style glass beads here and then here i used the eight millimeter brown gemstone style glass beads here and then i used some bronze bead caps from my stash and some uh, 11 o seed beads bronze 11 o seed beads from my stash to space out the beads and then i've got a bale here and I attach this pendant with a jump ring. This is one of the 50 by 26 millimeter leaf patina metal pendants. There were two in the box. This is one of them. And then I used some bronze chain from my stash on the back here. And a lobster clasp. A little bit of extender chain. And I hung a little leaf charm off the extender chain that I had in my stash. So that's that piece. Hold on, I'll get the next one. I did a video for this necklace too, and I'll put a link in the description box below in case you want to watch it. It's a pretty long necklace. Uh, I, I tend to do that. I tend to make long necklaces. I've been trying to make mix it up and make shorter ones, but a lot of times I gravitate toward longer necklaces. These are the 8mm brown gemstone style glass beads. These are the 10mm carnelian slash citrine duo style glass beads. These are the 8mm olive crackle glass beads. And then these are the 8mm raspberry jade style glass beads. This is one of the 46 by 26 millimeter leaf gold metal pendants that came in the box. And I just did some wire wrapped links on all the beads. And I used some bead caps from my stash. And up here with these red uh, raspberry colored beads, I did different bead caps. And then I connected all of them together with some tiny little pieces of chain here and jump rings. And then I did some chain on the back and a lobster clasp and a little bit of extender chain. And then I hung a little leaf dangle, or a little leaf charm that I had in my stash off the extender chain there. So that's that one. Hold on, let me get the next one. This is a set that I made, and I didn't do a video on this or any, I've got one more and I didn't do a video on either of these last two. But this is a two strand necklace here. And I used the 12 millimeter apple green slash copper drizzled glass beads here and I knew when I saw these that I had seen these before so I went digging back through my stash and back through my curated bead boxes and the one they put out last year around this time had these exact same beads in it but they were or at least the ones I got anyway were an 8 millimeter but it's exactly the same bead just in a smaller size here. So I used some of those too. And I used the 8mm raspberry jade style glass beads. Here I used the 10mm 
green slash red duo style glass beads. I use some a couple of different kinds of bead caps from my stash and I use some spacers from my stash. And then on the inner strand, I used the same beads, just in a little bit different pattern. And I didn't use any of these 10 milliliter beads on the inside. But I used the smaller of the apple green slash copper drizzle glass beads and the raspberry jade style glass beads. And then down here, I, I used a bale here and I attached uh, the other... 46 by 26 millimeter leaf gold metal pendant here. I used some 10 millimeter links, gold links that I had in my stash here to put both the strands on. And then I used some gold chain from my stash on the back here and a lobster clasp and a little bit of extender chain. And I hung one of the eight millimeter uh, apple green slash copper drizzle glass beads that I dug into my stash and found from last autumn and hung it off the extender chain there as a dangle. And then for the bracelet, I just used the same beads and bead caps and spacers. And then I used a toggle clasp here. And then the earrings, get one up here so you can see it better. I used one of the 12 millimeter apple green slash copper drizzle glass beads on the bottom and I just put it on a regular head pin and did a simple loop at the top and used some bead caps and then I used a piece of my 22 gauge German style wire and used one of the 10 millimeter green slash red duo style glass beads one of the 8 millimeter raspberry jade style glass beads with and I put some bead caps on the larger bead and a spacer bead between them there and did wire wrapped loops on each side and put them on some fish hook ear wires. So that's that set. Hold on, I have one more necklace. So I'll be back. This last necklace, I used the eight millimeter raspberry jade style glass beads and the eight millimeter brown gemstone style beads. And I used copper findings. I had this copper chandelier component in my stash with the three little loops at the bottom that you can hang things off of. And I hung, uh, I used some copper chain. And on the outside, I used one of the, or two of the raspberry jade style glass beads. I just put them on a regular head pin and did a wire wrapped loop at the top. And then for the center one, I did a little bit longer piece of chain and put one of the brown gemstone style glass beads on a regular head pin and did a wire wrapped loop at the top. And then up in here, I did, for these sections here, I did a raspberry bead with a brown bead on either side. And I used some 22 gauge wire to make a wire wrapped link for this, for these sections here. I didn't use my German style wire because I didn't have any in copper. So I used some dead soft wire that I had in copper. I prefer using the German style wire when I do wire wrapped links though because it I have an easier time keeping my loops nice and round and doing my wraps. But I didn't have any in copper so I used some dead soft that I had. And then for these uh, red uh, raspberry beads in between these sections I put those on some copper eye pins that I had in my stash and did a simple loop on on those and then connected them all like that and then on the back here I used some copper chain and a lobster clasp and a little piece of extender chain and then I put a little leaf a copper leaf charm that I found in my stash off the back of this one, off the extender chain on this one. So that's the last one. Let me see if I can get them all together and I'll be back. Okay, those are the pieces that I've made from the latest curated bead box. And I still have a lot of beads left. Uh, you get, like I said, you get a lot of beads in this subscription. It's a good way to build up your stash if you're needing to build up your stash of beads. 
and like I said, it has that starter's finding kit in it, so if if you don't have much of a stash of findings, it's a good way where you can just make pieces directly from the box. I know it's hard to see all these all jumbled up together like this. I'll put a, I'll do the little slideshow at the end of the video of each piece or each set so that you can see them better. Uh, and like I said, I'll put a link in the description box below to the page to sign up for the subscription if you're interested. And that coupon code will save you 35% off your first box if you sign up. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos and liked and commented on my videos. I have a website where I sell my jewelry. It's Teresa's Handmade Jewelry, and I'll put a link to it in the description box below in case you're interested, along with a link to my Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and my email. If you haven't, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified the next time I upload a new video. So until next time, hope y'all have a great day. Take care. Thank you.